All right, checking out the video of the day. Ms. Knowlton Weinstock is going to be the demo. We are going to focus on liberos digging dumps. So, when setters try to get slick and think they're going to get an on two kill on you, liberos, you guys want to be prepared to be able to dig it. So, we're going to focus on two specific styles today getting the shallow overhead back dump and then getting the deep overhead front dump. So, as she gets ready to warm this up, what's going to happen is she's going to have two choices with her footwork either a left right left knee drop on the ball that's shallow okay over here in area four or she could go left right left and just lunge out and stay on her feet All right we're going to rep that just a few times so you can check it out All right. so if you notice here as Knowlton goes to the ball okay right here we're just working on clean footwork okay each time she comes through Trying to make sure she has balance before she plays the ball. Then the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to treat it more like I'm an actual setter. I'll toss to myself simulating a pass. And then when I get ready to dump the ball, she's going to wait till she sees it for sure and run down the back dump. Good. So what you all should be looking for in this situation, Liberos, is any kind of tell from the setter right now for example i'm turning my right hand back so nolton gets a read on that and then makes a smooth play to the setter setting her team up for some transition opportunities all right one more she's going to dig on her side of the net and making that shoulder angle towards the cone all right the next type of play we'll work at is when a setter tries to either turn and face area five or if they're strong enough to go up and over with one hand. So what's gonna happen here is Knowlton's gonna lead with her inside leg, which is her right leg. She's gonna do a double step shuffle, okay, and play the ball with her hands that's heading back behind her because the middle back's not gonna get it. So she'll go step, shuffle, shuffle, and play an overhand for the setter that way. We're gonna rep this a few times so she gets the footwork. Okay, this will be a challenging ball if the other setter does it really well. They'll put it right in that area five corner if you can be ready for this, this is a play that can score you a lot of transition points. Now, I'll do it as if I were a setter who's strong enough to turn with my right hand and push the ball up and back over Knowlton's head. She's gonna turn and make the play. Good. Good, notice every time she finishes with those flat palms, that helps solidify the trajectory of the ball. So now I'm gonna do a few repetitions of a setter who would turn and transition and try to do this on two to the back corner and Knowlton's gonna be ready to make the same movement. Good, all right. Now finally, we're gonna put the two of these together. If you're playing against a really good setter, they're able to hide this for a really long period of time. So Knowlton's gonna have to make a read if I'm going on a shallow back dump or a deep area five dump over her head. Good. Make sure she starts with her hips low, feet balanced and even, so she's ready to play both balls. play. We'll do about two more here for you all to see. Notice the balance. Okay. And she makes a legal play by finishing those palms flat towards the target. Eating up that back dump. So if you all are trying this in your own gym at home, really try to focus on the balance piece, the footwork piece, and most of all, understanding the different ways that somebody can try to score on you. Noah, you got anything to add? Um, just stay positive, have fun, and work hard. See you later. Thanks for watching. To get more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Type in Setter College on YouTube and look for the trophy. We've got camps, we've got courses, lessons. Most of all, we've got some content that's going to help you become your best volleyball player. So check it out.